we're going to make an asparagus tart. It's just perfect for spring, and it's got it's kind of a quiche thing, but it, it's gorgeous. You can keep the asparagus spears whole and leave them on top. This is actually a, a pie shell, but you could do this in a shallower tart. The trick I want to show you is baking blind. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to be blindfolded. It means how the baking is going to go. I'm going to take a piece of parchment. You could also use foil, which is just as easy. And you're going to just press it into your pie crust. This is one that I made, but you could also use a you know store-bought frozen or the kind that you roll out and put into the pan. And just do this. And then you're going to take either professional pie weights, which are these little things that look like baby little mints, or just any kind of bean that you have at home. These are tiny white beans. You could use kidney beans. And just dump about a pound in. Put it all over the bottom. It doesn't have to go all the way to the top, but just put it all over the bottom. And you're going to bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes with these weights in the pan, and that will help the pie crust take its shape so that it won't all, because there's so much fat in it that it will just melt onto itself. So you want to let that set, and then after it's set for about 15 minutes in the oven, with your oven mitts or pot holders, you take this out, and then you put the empty shell back in the oven just to get some of the moisture evaporated and a little bit more color, and that will give you a nice crisp crust, even if you're pouring in something as liquidy as a quiche batter. And that's what baking blind is. Susan Westmoreland in the Good Housekeeping Kitchen, helping you take back dinner time.